Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, I will share the features of carbon monoxide toxicity. This is an important topic because you can see or smell carbon monoxide gas, which makes it even more dangerous. And carbon monoxide can infiltrate your home without you ever knowing until symptoms strike. The longer and more significant a person's exposure to carbon monoxide, the more severe the symptoms can become and ultimately leading to death. Let's talk about where is carbon monoxide found. Carbon monoxide is produced when fuels such as gas, oil, coal and wood do not burn fully and burning charcoal Running cars and the smoke from cigarettes also produce carbon monoxide gas. Let's talk about symptoms. We can see headache at 90% of the cases. And we will see 50% of the cases with nausea and vomiting and also vertigo. And we can see confusion in 30% of the cases and subjective weakness 20% of the cases. An attention type of headache is the most common symptom of mild carbon monoxide poisoning. We will talk about severe carbon monoxide poisoning, but before we should know that tension type headaches, pain like a band, squeezing the head, and in severe toxicity, we can see pink skin and mucosa, hyperpraxia, arrhythmias, extrapyramidal features, coma, and death. We said that in mild toxicity, we will see tension type headache. In severe toxicity, we can see hyperpraxia. Hyperpraxia is when your body temperature exceeds 106 Fahrenheit due to a fever. This is hyperpraxia. And we can also see extra pyramidal features in severe toxicity. Like some of the examples of extra pyramidal features are dystonia and tardive dyskinesia. In dystonia, you can see continuous spasms and muscle contractions in patient's body. And in tardive dyskinesia, we can see irregular jerky movements. You should know that we can also see tardive dyskinesia in antipsychotic usage. The symptoms of exposure to low levels of carbon monoxide can be similar to those of flu, but we can differ these conditions by looking at temperature because carbon monoxide poisoning does not cause high temperature. What should you do if you have been exposed to carbon monoxide? Please get into fresh air immediately and call 911 or emergency medical help. You or someone you are with develops signs or symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning. And the best way to treat carbon monoxide poisoning is to breathe in pure oxygen. This treatment increases oxygen levels in the blood and helps to remove carbon monoxide from the blood. The doctors will use standard oxygen therapy and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. From picture, you can see hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the doctors also using this treatment for gangrene, stubborn wounds and infections in which tissues are starved for oxygen. And lastly, before closing the video, I want to talk about warning signs. Other people in your house, flat or workplace for ill with similar symptoms. Your symptoms tend to be seasonal. For example, if you get headaches more often during the winter when the central heating is used more frequently. Also, you can see your pets can be ill. And this is the end of the video. Please consider liking, commenting and sharing. Take care.